Hi everyone. In the previous part of bacterial photosynthesis topic, we discussed the introduction to the second phase of photosynthesis that is dark phase. And we already came to know that this is the second phase and here in the second phase carbon dioxide is fixed and converted into carbohydrates where we are also calling it as carbon dioxide assimilation or fixation of carbon dioxide. And this assimilation of carbon dioxide is occurring in four major ways. So here Kelvin cycle, reductive TCA cycle, acetyl-CoA and hydroxypropionate. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the first pathway of fixation of carbon dioxide which is going to occur by most of the photosynthetic microorganisms. So coming to the Kelvin cycle, majority of the phototrophic microorganisms like microalgae, cyanobacteria, purple green bacteria is going to fix the carbon dioxide and produce carbohydrates through this cycle like the plants. That means we know that the plants assimilate the carbon dioxide with the help of this pathway that is Kelvin cycle. And here the microorganisms, especially phototropic microorganisms are also fixing the carbon dioxide and converting it into carbohydrates by the pathway called Kelvin cycle. And in the dark phase, that is in the dark reaction, is requires two things. One is ATP and NADP. And we know that these two together, we call it as assimilatory power, which was synthesized in the light phase. In any of the dark phase, this thing is very, very important to fix the carbon dioxide. And this ATP and NADPH were used as energy as well as the electron sources to fix the carbon dioxide as carbohydrates okay so the pathway that is the kelvin cycle or the kelvin pathway involved in the dark reaction is the major is kelvin cycle so by which we are going to fix the carbon dioxide and how that carbon dioxide is going to be fixed in the form of phosphoglyceric acid and leading to the formation of many sugars how we will see the pathway now and this cycle, that means Kelvin cycle, requires two things. What are those things? One is the assimilatory power and second one is the two main enzymes or two key enzymes, that is Rubisco. What is meant by Rubisco? It's an enzyme. The full form of Rubisco is ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate carboxylase, which is very, very essential in the fixation of carbon dioxide. And one more enzyme is phosphoribulokinase. So these two are the main key enzymes in this Kelvin cycle. To understand the Kelvin cycle easily, the Kelvin cycle can be divided into three phases. How many phases? Three phases. What are those? Carboxylation phase, reduction phase, regeneration phase. Carboxylation phase, reduction phase and regeneration phase. So this is the overall pathway, Kelvin cycle pathway in brief, okay. So coming to the first one, carboxylation phase or carbon fixation is occurring here. So that's why we call it as carboxylation phase. In this phase, a molecule of carbon dioxide fixed by the enzyme called as Rubisco, that is ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate carboxylase. Now this Rubisco or ribulose bisphosphate is carboxylated by the carbon dioxide of the atmosphere which gives rise to two molecules of 3-phosphoglyceric acid that is PGA. And remember here, here is the three molecules of carbon dioxide. So obviously how many molecules of PGA will get that is six molecules in general one carbon dioxide fixation is going to lead to the two molecules of phosphoglyceric acid so how many molecules of carbon dioxide are here three molecules so obviously you'll get six molecules of three phosphoglyceric acid 
and one more important thing that you have to remember this rubisco is a most abundant protein in the world and it is a key enzyme in biomass production from carbon dioxide in the plant so that you can remember very well then this is the first step or first phase that is carboxylation phase then come in the second phase that is reduction phase something is going to reduce what it is it is nothing but the phosphoglyceric acid now this 3 phosphoglyceric acid is reduced to 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde by atp and nadph that is nothing but the assimilatory power that is formed in the light reaction now after this what is happening the, it is going to enter into the third phase that is regeneration of rubp that is ribulose bisphosphate so this step you can understand by seeing another pathway called as pentose phosphate pathway so this we had a detailed explanation in the respiration topic okay so as I told you, the Kelvin cycle is also called as reductive TCA cycle, sorry, reductive pentose phosphate pathway. Reductive pentose phosphate pathway. So, reductive means reverse of pentose phosphate pathway. So, let's see how. So, this is engendered from glucose 6 phosphate. You are going to get the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and fructose. But now, it's a reverse is going to occur. See how. During this phosphate, what is the final product of uh, this uh, second phase? That is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Now, here is our glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Now, this glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is converted into DHAP, dihydroxyacetoid stored phosphate. And this conversion is reversible in the presence of an enzyme called phosphate isomerase. Now, one molecule of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and one molecule of DHAP condense to form one molecule of fructose 1,6-phosphate. Now this fructose 1,6-bisphosphate converts into fructose 6-phosphate by removing the phosphate group. Now one molecule of fructose 6-phosphate and one molecule of this glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is going to be forming two things that is erythrose 4 phosphate and xylulose 5 phosphate. So, here you can see, okay. So, erythrose 4 phosphate and xylulose 4 phosphate, 5 phosphate, sorry. And now, these together is going to give rise to glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and sedoheptolase 7 phosphate. That means one molecule of erythrose 4 phosphate combines with one molecule of DHAP in condensation with. To form the sedoheptolase and this reaction is again going to have an enzyme aldolase now this sedoheptolase 7 phosphate loses a phosphate group forming sedoheptolase 7 phosphate now once it has formed the sedoheptolase 7 phosphate it combines with one molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and forming ribose 5 phosphate and one molecule of xylulose 5 phosphate. So, actually, it is going to be the reverse of your pentose phosphate pathway. That's why this is called as reductive pentose phosphate pathway. Remember, it is all the reactions are occurring backward. Okay, now you had the ribose 5 phosphate and xylulose 5 phosphate, and this enzyme involved here is obviously ketolase, that is transketolase. Now, the xylose 5-phosphate is converted into ribose 5-phosphate in the presence of an enzyme called as epimerase. And the ribose 5-phosphate also converted into the ribulose 5-phosphate in the presence of an enzyme isomerase. And finally, ribulose 5-phosphate is going to be converted into ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate through the action of rib ribulose phosphate kinase so you are going to have the reverse of it and this is going to what happened during this whole process the ribulose 1 5 bis phosphate so here you can see this ribulose 1 5 bis phosphate is generated carbohydrates such as glucose fructose 
are going to be produced. So let's go back. So the intermediate whole steps I told you. Okay, so I have shown you in the re reverse of pentose phosphate pathway. So here you can see this glycerolyhydrate three phosphate molecules are going to back and giving rise to the glucose. Then what about the other glycerolyhydrate three phosphate molecules? So we are getting the six out of which only one molecule is involved in the synthesis of this. Then what about the other five? They are all going to regenerate the ribulose based phosphate which will again going to have the cycle, continuous cycle. So that is why this phase is going to be called as regeneration phase. We are going to call it as regeneration phase. So here you can see uh, in brief six molecules of carbon dioxide are fixed and giving rise to ribulose based phosphate which is converted into PGA okay and now this phosphoglyceric acid is getting converted into diphosphoglyceraldehyde now this phosphoglyceraldehyde is going to cleave that means some molecules are going to be converted into the carbohydrates and rest of them are entered into the cycle back where we call this as a regeneration phase okay so here is the overall reaction of this Calvin cycle where six molecules of carbon dioxide are going to take the 18 ATP molecules. So here you can see the 12 ATP and here are the 6. Altogether how many? 18 ATPs are involved and 12 NADPH and only here you are having only at one step that is 12 NADPH and 12 protons and 12 molecules of water. So here the breakage of uh, 3 phosphoglyceraldehyde into 10 and 2 and this involves a water. So where you are going to have the 12 H2O. And finally what you are going to get from this hexose molecule. That is one hexose molecule you are going to get from one cycle. And then 18 ADP are going to be. So here 12 ADP and here 6 altogether 18. And 18 inorganic phosphate. And how many NADP are going to be released. That is 12 NADP. That means for each molecule of carbon dioxide fixation and reduction, 2 NADPH and 3 ATP are required. For one molecule we are discussing here, 6 are there. So obviously you are going to have the thing. So 6, 3 is a 18. So it can be concluded that 6 turns of cycle are required to produce a hexose phosphate. That means 6 molecules of carbon dioxide gives rise to 1 molecule of fructose or glucose. Of the 12 phosphoglyceraldehyde molecules, so here 12 phosphoglyceraldehyde molecules are there. Six molecules, that means by reduction of six molecules, 10 molecules of phosphoglyceraldehyde are utilized for the regeneration of this ribulose phosphate, whereas the other two are involved in the utilization for hexose formation, that may be a fructose or glucose. Okay, so this is all the overall reaction of Kelvin cycle. So that's all about the first uh, type of pathway by which the microorganisms fixing the carbon dioxide that is Kelvin cycle or reductive pentose pathway or Melvin Kelvin cycle. Thank you. And the rest of the things are going to be discussed in the consecutive videos.